Hello and welcome back to this week's edition of Grandma's Cookbook, where for the end of the year I decided to make something that was the most requested thing I make all year. And it's not this one that's in the cookbook, but I still figure this is a pretty goddamn tasty loaf of bread here. So come join me as this week I show you how to make the best pumpkin bread in the world. Alright, to make this is pretty quick and easy. Here's how you do it. Into a bowl, you'll dump two cups of all-purpose flour, and to that, you're going to whisk in one teaspoon ground cinnamon, one teaspoon baking soda, one half teaspoon baking powder, one quarter teaspoon ground ginger, one quarter teaspoon ground nutmeg, and one half teaspoon of salt. And then mix together until it's all combined. Now in a separate bowl, you will add one stick of melted butter, one and one fourth cups granulated sugar, one cup pumpkin puree, one quarter cup sour cream, two large eggs, and one teaspoon vanilla. Then mix until all well combined. Then slowly add in the dry ingredients to the wet until all of the batter has been well mixed. Then dump it into a parchment lined and well greased loaf pan where you will put it into a preheated oven for 350 degrees for 50 minutes to an hour. Now you can optionally add on top of the loaf a mixture of some sh cinnamon and sugar to add a nice little crunch and taste, and I recommend doing this. Then after about 50 minutes to an hour, check the bread, see if it's done, and voila. You've got probably the best pumpkin bread I've ever had in my entire life. Like, thank you all for watching, and being with me for this year as we went through Grandma's cookbook and a few additional things on the side. Here's to better year next year, and we'll see you on the next edition of Grandma's Cookbook.